Hello, my name is Tony Robinson. And I'm Steve Croft. And today we're going to talk to you about the MMF Linear Motor. So, Tony, what is a linear motor? Well, Steve, a linear motor is fundamentally uh, the same thing as a conventional rotary motor. It's just been flattened out, if you like. So it consists of the same elements as a rotary motor, but in a linear form. Okay. And so what's different about this MNF linear motor? Um, most linear motors have magnets on the track. Uh, this particular motor has no magnets on the track. So this track here yep. is non-magnetic. Okay. okay. It consists of a powdery ferrous material with teeth uh, raised on it. Okay, and uh, so how does this mover then move? Okay, well, um, we have the track, which as I said is not a non-magnetic. The mover consists of uh, the coils for the motor, mm -hmm. the magnets that are used within the system, and the encoder reed head. And in order to um, move the mover, mm -hmm. we have to um, control the uh, current within the, within the coils, which will modulate the magnetic field, induce a, um, a, a magnetic field into the teeth on the track. And by knowing the position and velocity we're moving at, we're able to move the force along. Okay, so we're using permanent magnets and then we're introducing electricity to modulate those magnets. Yes, basically we are using permanent magnets. Yeah. Uh, the rare earth magnets that use in the system intensify the magnetic field that's produced. Um, and this interacts with the uh, powdered ferrous tooth on the track mm. and causes it to move. Okay, and then we've got an encoder, which is it's just a standard sort of encoder. Yeah, basically the encoder is just a standard linear one micron linear encoder, mm -hmm. which is closing the position of velocity route round, round in within the drive. Okay, so it's a servo motor. So uh, is it a standard servo drive? Uh, yes, uh, you can use a standard servo drive with this system. Um, it's it's a conventional uh, drive as long as it has the current, the voltage. And the bandwidth within the system to handle the speed that you want to attain, um, then you can use any servo drive you like. Okay, so what sort of speeds can we attain? Well, this particular system um, has a working envelope of um, 30 meters a second at 22 g. Okay, and what kind of forces can it move? Well, the movers come in two sizes. This is the S1. Mm -hmm. The S1 um, uh, will handle. Uh, force is up to 583 newtons and an S2 up to 1076 newtons. Okay. Uh, and because there are no magnets in the stator, uh, there's a reduction in the cogging? Uh, yes. Um, with a conventional linear motor, um, the magnets within the track would um, interfere or react with the magnets on the, on the mover and you would get um, a detent torque or, mm. a, uh, or a, a cogging torque. And this is reduced by about two thirds within this system. Mm. So you get a very smooth, low velocity ripple system. Would you like to show it? Yes, I can do that. Mm. So I'll move at about 500 millimeters a second to begin with. Mm -hmm. Now I'll <coughs> increase the speed up to 1000 millimeters a second. What sort of acceleration is that? I'm running at uh, 20,000 millimeters a second squared on that. And I'll push it to 2,000 millimeters a second. As you can see, the system works, but as you can see here, we've got a lot of vibration, yeah. primarily because the system now needs to be bolted down yeah, it needs to be integrated within the machine. Yes, it does. <coughs> okay, so talking about integration, uh, what's what's the limitation on the length on this? Um, the limitation is uh, in this particular modular form. We make them, we make them in two different modular forms. The modular okay. form here uh, is about six to seven meters, um, and that is because um, it, it it just becomes cost prohibitive to ship after those type of months. Okay, but if if you're not using a, a, a Manufactured system. If you're if you're buying a component, if you're buying um, if you're buying components only, then you can make this any length you want. You know? Okay. 
Mm -hmm. you, you design it in and manufacture it as long as you want it to be. It's virtually infinite length. Yeah. <coughs> so as the uh, as the length of it increases, you're only increasing the length of the stator and the cables and the encoder. Uh, yes, um, obviously um, the, the, one of the most the, one of the most uh, expensive elements within this system is the magnets, and yeah. because the magnets are only in the mover, they are constant. Mm. Um, so as you increase the length of the track, the um, the effective cost reduces. The effective cost reduces. That's exactly it. Thank Very you. good. Okay. Thank you, Tanner. Um, well, I hope you uh, found that useful, um, and thank you for your time. If you have any questions or wish to contact us, please, 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 please feel free to do so. Um, thank you. Indeed.